Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, yeah, today I wanted to talk about how Sedona Method changed my life. Um, so, yeah, Sedona Method, if you don't know, is a process of inquiry, asking questions, and asking questions internally or towards somebody else. Um, and from answering those questions, you can release uh, emotions from the body. Uh, I found this incredibly powerful. And yeah, it, it completely changed my life. Um, so before I found Sedona Method, I used to be in, I used to get stuck in depressive spirals. Um, I would be stuck in, I could be stuck in depression for months at a time. And it would be like a dark cloud over me. It was like, a, it felt like, <laughs> I was, it, it was like a weight, <clears throat> a weight on my shoulders. And I, it was with me all the time, and, and I, it felt so difficult. Uh, I didn't know how to get out of it, you know, and I, and I didn't know how to process it. I didn't know how to get through all of that depressive energy. Um, and <clears throat> I, I worked a lot on loads of different healing modalities, um, s loads of different spiritual healing things, and uh, going to therapy, and doing all of this inner work, loads of different things, and none, like, it, Everything that I did, it would be good, and then I'd have like a day or two of feeling okay, and then it would come back, and then I'd be stuck there again. And it kind of, it was just a cycle, and it w it would never really get better. Like it would, it would always kind of be there, stuck there, you know. And then I found breath work, and um, so breath work, I would do like deep circular breathing for about an hour, and that would actually give me some relief. Like before I found Sedona Method, breath work was my go-to. And I did hundreds of hours of breath work to clear this emotion, to clear all of these, all of this heaviness and this sadness. Yeah, and at the, right at the end, I was doing an hour of breath work a day just to keep my head above the water. Like, it, it literally felt like I was drowning and I had to just do a breath work just to feel normal, you know? And when I felt normal, it was like, this is how I should normally feel, but I, I always have to work so hard to get back to this normal state, you know? Um, and then, yeah, so in, this was, this was how I was doing it. And then in March 2019, I found Sedona Method. This is Sedona Method. S-E-D-O-N-A Method. And yes, it's a number, it's a number of questions that you can ask yourself uh, or ask someone else and it helps you release these emotions that are inside the system, okay? So, for example, um, say I had a depressive feeling inside of me, I could ask these questions. So I'll go through the questions, and the way that it works is, is that you can answer with a yes or a no. So um, it doesn't matter what you answer with, you're just looking for the authentic answer inside. So if it's a yes, then you can say yes. If it's a no, you, know, you can say no. And whatever the answer is, then allow the body to do whatever it wants to do uh, in response to that. So it could be laughter, it could be a yawn, like there's a lot of yawning that I found over the years. It could be crying, it could be um, just feeling energy leave the body. It could be like muscle tension releasing, like there's a lot of things that happen in the body um, just from giving an authentic yes or a no to these questions. I'll go through the questions just so you can get an idea of how they work. And they're very simple, they're no woo-woo, there's nothing that you have to believe, there's nothing weird, it's just just self-inquiry asking inside. And you can ask with uh, an I or a you statement to yourself. So you could say, could I allow this feeling or could you allow this feeling? So you can use either one for yourself. So for me, say there was like a depressive feeling, then I would say, could I allow this depressive feeling to be there and then I would check inside and I say could I allow that to be there yes or no and I'd say yes I can be I can, I can allow that to be there um so that's the first question so then you know a release can happen uh, and a release can happen as and can be as strong with a yes or a no um and then um so then the next question is could I let that feeling go. Could I let that feeling go? And so when it comes down to feelings, feelings are like emotions, right? So there's like an emotion, the pen is the emotion. 
And we hold on to the emotions, we hold on to the sadness, we hold on to the fear, we hold on to the anger, we hold on to resentment or depression or whatever it is. But often it's, it's I mean, the way that it is, it's just, it's just an emotion. It's not something that is part of us, it's something that we hold on to. And just like a pen, just dropping a pen, we have the ability to let go of, um, let go of that emotion. So the question, could I let that feeling go? So I say, could I let that depressive feeling go? <sighs> yeah, I could let it go. <laughs> I could let it go, yeah. Um, and th so then that's that question. And then the next question is, would I let that feeling go? So would I actually let it go? I could let it go, but would I actually let it go now? So would I let that depressive feeling go? <sighs> yeah, I would let it go. I, I really would, yeah. And so that's the would you. And then the final one is when. So when would you let it go? And so I would check inside. I say, when would I let the depressive feeling go? Oh, I would let it go now. Yeah. And so then, then the feeling drops. And sometimes you can go for a couple of times just to see, but sometimes you can, you can just ask one question and that piece can, can leave you and you can feel free. You feel freer and open and more lighter. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to share this because for me, this changed my life on such a fundamental level, you know? On such a deep level that I, I've, I've done the facilitator training and I've been working with people um, with this technique for like three years. So just to get started, the, the questions are, f are free and available and you can ask yourself them at any time and they're available to you as a resource. I'll put the questions um, below as well so that you can have them. Um, but yeah, I did, it, it honestly <laughs> it changed my life on such a deep level. Like I, before, I, it, there's like a before and after finding Sedona Method. The before Aaron, it, it just, it's it was a completely different existence it was it was a very difficult difficult existence after i had the tools to be able to process i had the tools that if if things got tough i have the tools and and that's it for me it's a tool that you can use at any time and it, you have you have the freedom to kind of look into it and and use what you what i provide here or you can even look more further into it and look into the book or and to courses if you want to, but you don't need to, is you can use these four questions and get pretty much to wherever you want to get to, to release whatever is, is inside. And if there's anything that is not working for you, you can use it. So yeah, I just wanted to share it because of it's, it just changed my life on such a deep level. And I hope that it can help you um, in some areas of your life. And if there's any emotions or any feelings or anything that's going on in your system that if it feels difficult, you can use this technique. Uh, whenever you are, however you are, you can you know you can just be sitting there on the train, and you just you just feel some feeling, and you're like, could I allow it? Yes, could I welcome it? <laughs> oh, I added a welcome it, but that's another question you can ask. Could I let it go? Yes. <laughs> Would I let it go? Let it go when I, you know when I let it go now. So yeah. I hope you found this helpful and yeah, I, I really hope you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So yeah.